You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. We see triple digit swings in the stock market. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. And the answer was, well, get out your credit cards. We'll give everybody credit cards. And American households, British households, all roughly tripled their debt over the last 20, 30 years. Then it started to come apart. A turn towards central planning of the economy from Washington, D.C., greater in magnitude than anything since the New Deal. Of course we don't know how it's going to turn out. Instead of $11 trillion, at what point do we run out of money? Well, uh, we've, we're out of money now. A beneficiary of this program, if you were to get rid of the cotton subsidy, stands to lose tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. The stakes are enormous. If, however, this program went away tomorrow, the American taxpayer would gain, and uh, this is an approximate estimate, one dime a year. What happens in Malta and in Indonesia and in Japan affects what happens in Texas and Wisconsin. What happens in Massachusetts affects what's happening in South America. The push towards low-income housing, the extreme degree of stimulus given by the Fed, the willingness to intervene if the system got into trouble. If we bet and take more risk, we make tons of money. If we lose, somebody else will pick up the pieces. How is it that government is going to be able to spend a dollar in such a way that it generates a dollar or more in value? If you look at the Congressional Budget Office data, the United States is never again going to run a balanced budget. Never. I mean, beyond our lifetimes, every year there's going to be a trillion dollars of new debt. You would think they would be saying thank you. From the heights of corporate greed. You're not going to tell me how to run my congressional. To the debts of government mismanagement. Brandy! Stop! Brandy! Stop! Stop. Brandy! Comes a new theory of political economy that is bound to shake up the status quo.